In today's video, I'll be showing you how I created my own Bridgerton journal. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Can't Have Paper, Pens and Coffee, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for everyone lately that has subscribed and getting me that much closer to my 500 goal which the next milestone will probably be a thousand. That would just be heaven sent. Um, remember to like, subscribe, click all, do all that good stuff. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. This is a fun project and I think it'll be a continuation project until I finish writing in all the pages. I have most of the pages decorated and I used a few items. Um, one is a set from Book Nook Prints. Christina put in together a really fabulous set um, set up for people that enjoy things, all things Bridgerton. I will put the link to her shop down below so you can go check it out for yourself. They're not in here yet, but Brain, um, Frolicking Brains is going to have some Regency type of decorativeness. Decorativeness? stickers that's the word i'm looking for stickers in her shop and once they are mailed out to me i'm going to put them in here and i also use some of my leftover cozy lavender printable from la florals in here because it just was the perfect fit so on the cover this particular printable i cut out from nookbrook's print i enlarged it a little and then i just angled this um, wooden frame around it because how perfect is that and then in my stash I had a wax seal of a B and now I knew what to use it for the book itself is a book from the Dollar Tree store thanks to Sea Kiss I'm sorry Seaweed Kisses a couple I think almost a month ago she uh, went on Instagram and told everyone go and check this out this paper is really fabulous and it's light and just fun to use so why not so I think it said plans or journal or something so I covered that up there now front and back both of it had this cardboard boring cardboard so the front I got my acrylic paints out and painted it purple and then on Canva, I made a continuous um, pattern of lilacs because that's kind of a running theme in the show. And then this is from Christina's um, journaling set. So the first page, this is another background paper that I created on Canva. And then some of the papers that you get in the set have these characters at the very bottom. So I printed out a lot of them, so I just trimmed it out and put it in there. Now this is from a Bridgerton tea set that my mom purchased. And this was the closest that looked like lilacs to me. So I decided to use it there. And I thought it would be fun to put the Bridgerton family tree in the front. Now what, it didn't dawn on me until I started listening to one of the books as an audio book that Violet named all of her children, eight children, in alphabetical order. I don't know, did anyone else catch that if you're just watching the show like me? So we have Anthony, Benedict, Colin, Daphne, Eloise, Francesca, Gregory, and Hyacinth. How clever is that? So the next page, I use some of the playlist that's in the same pack as um, from Book Nook Prints. It says Bridgerton Playlist, and as you know, they're taking modern songs and putting them to string music, which I just love. And so I just went through some of the playlists, uh, I think on YouTube, and just wrote down, you know, the songs that we've I've heard in the show. Now, on this side of the book is from Book Nook Prints. This side of the book I created in um, Canva. So you get, um, and I shrunk these down to fit this particular size, but she gives you three different style background papers, if I'm correct. So there's this one, there's this one just with the B, and then this one, this is still lilacs, but not as many lilacs. There's a little more background there. 
So what I've been doing is I was going to start, and I think I'm going to wipe this out as season one or season an episode and then favorite quote or quotes. And so I just put season one and then episode many, and I just wrote down things that I liked. And then um, I decided on this side, like I just told you about the ABC order of the, of the, of the names of the children. I thought I'd write um, interesting facts about the fictional characters on this side. So, for example, I wrote about Penelope, and then I found some quotes from her. And I didn't know what season or episode they came from, so that's why I'm saying I might just um, wipe that out like I did here. This is one about Lady Danbury, and then um, a quote from Lady Danbury. So this is how the rest of the book is going to go. This is how the rest of the book is going to go. And I just put this velvet um, ribbon in as a bookmark. And as you can see. And so to make this side of the book, this is one of my favorite ones. To make this side of the book, um, I just used the AI feature that um, Canva has and described, you know, people and the Regency area and then just see what they came up with. Some of them were kind of freaky looking, and then others look like real people. So those are the ones I picked. And then you just lower the, capac the capacity of the, of the um, picture, and that's how you get kind of like this faded look. So, so I, had, I was trying to emulate um, Penelope. I said, Regency woman, red hair, reading a book by a window, and this is what they came up with. And then saying like this she's writing but you have to be careful because some of the AIs it all of a sudden they had like seven fingers or something it was really weird so and the rest of it is things from book nook prints she created some um, bookmarks quote of note um, this is a trivia another bookmark um, the titles in order which I like Another bookmark, um, a bingo. I don't, I'm not going to mark it up. I just put it in here so I could look at it. This was um, two more bookmarks. And then she had a thing like if you were had friends to do a reading club. And it was kind of a cute lady um, whistle down type of note. And it said, dearest reader. And then she had these little cute pictures. So I just cut those out to use it. And then I used the LA Florals Cozy printables that I mentioned in my video last month just to decorate the edges of it. So I just added some more of those. And then when I ran out of the quote notes, let me see, I still had some left over so I just decorated these pages so they'll be at the ready. So that is my Bridgerton journal. Anyone else doing Bridgerton journals? Let me know down below. See you on the next one.